Now on 4 News Now at 6, a man believed to be armed and dangerous killed by members of the SWAT team. What we now know about the man who caused families in Loon Lake to lock their doors. You'll want to get outside and take advantage of our higher than average temperatures. I'll let you know how long this warmer weather will last in your first alert forecast. Bloomsday executives are stepping down. Why they're leaving and what this shakeup could mean for Spokane's beloved race. You're watching 4 News Now at 6 o'clock. We have new information on breaking news from overnight. A SWAT team shot and killed a man in Loon Lake. Thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Luna. And I'm Kirsten O'Connor. Tonight we hear from a woman who says she is the ex-wife of that man. Investigators say he was armed with a handgun and wearing body armor at the time of the standoff. Sheriff's officials say the shooting happened near Loon Lake in Stevens County. No one else was hurt during that standoff. Peter Choi explains his ex-wife now claims this all started because he was trying to defend their son. This all started near a house here on Spotted Road, east of Loon Lake, late Wednesday night. And sheriff's officials said a man armed with a handgun threatened to kill someone and drove west. He ended up near Loon Lake. He was just doing what he felt was right. She doesn't want to be on camera. She tells me she's the shooter's ex-wife. She tells me the man was trying to defend his son from someone. One of our sons was molested by somebody that he was trying to deal with, I guess. And your ex-husband is trying to protect him. Yes. And that's when the, the whole shooting. That's, that went, that's what initiated the shooting. After officials say the man dropped to Loon Lake area, sheriff's deputy sent out a call to neighbors, telling them to stay inside and lock their doors. One of the neighbors living a mile away from where the shooting happened says she's glad her family stayed inside the house. Um, gunshots, sirens, helicopters, um, and then traffic stopped. They stopped the traffic, so then it got pretty quiet. About that time, shots were fired by two deputies of Spokane County Sheriff's Office, and the subject uh, was shot, and he is deceased. The Spokane Police Department is the lead agency, and a Spokane Independent Investigative Response Team is now reviewing the shooting. The Spokane County Sheriff's officials say they will release deputies' names next week. In the Spokane County, Peter Choi, 4 News Now. We now know the punishment for a former Spokane police officer convicted of sexually assaulting several women while on duty. A judge sentenced Nathan Nash to 14 years to life in prison. He was first charged in 2019 after a woman came forward claiming he raped her while investigating a case she called police for help. And that was then again in 2021. Another woman talked to police about a similar incident. He was found guilty last month. We reached out to his attorneys for comment on the sentencing and have not heard back. A driver flipped a car in the valley earlier today. It happened on I-90 around noon. The driver was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. No word yet on what caused the crash, but Washington State Patrol says speed was a factor. Well, the weekend is almost here, and the higher than average temperatures are going to greet us on our Friday, Saturday, and hopefully on Sunday. We have our chief meteorologist, Chris Crocker, here to tell us more about the early start. I like to call it Friday Junior on Thursdays. Oh, that is a good thing to call it or yeah Friday Eve is also one I have heard um, here's a live look down over the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena the county courthouse I have a full arena parking lot right now and I notice one little cirrus cloud up there otherwise it is absolutely clear and not even much of a haze on the horizon our air quality has been in pretty good shape in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene it is in the good range right now we do have a few Few yellow dots on the map indicating moderate air quality where we've had some agricultural burning also around active fires in the Cascades as well as up in uh, bon uh, Boundary County up by Bonners Ferry we've had some challenges with that Kootenai complex fire burning but uh, otherwise not bad air quality around the region our temperatures right now 69 in Spokane we did make it into the 70s again today but we're cooling down quickly with light winds Winds, clear skies, dry air, all the ingredients are there for very rapid and efficient cooling. We're in the 60s in Deer Park and Nine Mile. It is currently 66 at Fairchild Air Force Base, still in the 
70s down in Spangle as well as in Liberty Lake and Coeur d'Alene at 71 right now in downtown Spokane. Beautiful evening with an almost full moon. Not, not quite anymore. 66 degrees at 7 o'clock. We'll be cooling down into the 50s by 9. I'll be back with your 7-day forecast, which does include a rather spectacular weekend. That's coming up in just a few minutes. Aaron? Coming up, and you find out. Tucker sends one high and deep to right field. He's... Let's do or die time for the Seattle Mariners as they drop game two of the playoffs to the Houston Astros. A couple innings after giving up this home run, there was a little glimmer of hope. The Mariners took a 2-1 to one lead only to see that vanish in the sixth. They go on to lose 4-2. to two. Game three will be Saturday in Seattle. If the Mariners lose, they are done. In your For the People election coverage here at 4 News Now, we're taking your questions to the candidates to make sure you're ready to cast your vote in November. And one race that will impact crime in our communities is for Spokane County Prosecutor. It's between Republican incumbent Larry Haskell and Deb Conklin, who has no party affiliation. We know you have questions. We do want to hear from you, so you can submit your questions on kxly.com slash for the people. And there you can also find a complete voter guide, including including deadlines and how to register. Since the 2020 presidential election, Republicans, including former President Donald Trump, have pushed the idea that our election system has been compromised. We spoke to the candidates for Washington's Secretary of State to see how they plan on making sure our elections are safe and secure. Tonight at 6.30. A beloved Spokane tradition is caught up in controversy. Bloomsday is now without a race director. The current board voted to strip him of his title, so John Neal resigned. After powering through a pandemic, the future of Spokane's biggest race is now uncertain. Tonight at 6, Esther Bowers here to break down the sudden departures. A lot of people shocked by this. Absolutely, guys. And it's not just the race director who's gone. Two longtime board members also left the organization. The current president is not saying much, but those who've been involved for decades now say the race isn't heading in the right direction. Doomsday draws thousands every year. Now it's drawing criticism from those who've been a part of it for decades. We're getting through these events and we're prospering thanks to the Spokane community. Uh, and there's no recognition for that. It, it just seems strange. John Neal was the man behind it all since 2019, leading the race through a pandemic, but then being told he was reassigned to an unspecified new role. They um, tried to offer him a position uh, with less responsibility, but after being race director, it, it would be a very difficult thing to accept. So he didn't. Neil resigned on Tuesday, saying in a statement, it is with great sadness that I have stepped away from Bloomsday. 4 News Now also obtained the private letter from a person close to the organization that Neil sent the board. In it, he outlines a negative, toxic, and hostile work environment that's made running the race he loves extremely hard. The current director for Bloomsday wouldn't comment and says employment issues aren't discussed. I really don't know what their plans are. Um, if they're going to refocus on things, I don't know. With these two board members now gone and a race director pushed out, the beloved tradition is smeared with controversy with no clear path for what the future of Bloomsday will hold. Now the current president tells us the race is still happening, but with all of these changes and the uncertainty of Bloomsday's future, questions are now arising about partners dropping sponsorships. We'll continue to track this story and bring you updates on what's next. Reporting in studio tonight, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now. Esther, thank you. The races across the inland northwest are heating up and the race for Washington Senate is our Washington senators is getting national attention. With well, less than four weeks to go, we take a look at each candidate and who's pulling ahead. Plus, Mark Peterson and the Extreme Team have been hard at work all week building a new library and outdoor space at the Carl Maxey Center. Tonight, the big reveal, how they're honoring the center's late founder. That's coming up. Track live radar on the 4 News Now weather app. You'll love saving, saving, saving your green at Jennifer's. Oh, life, we hear you beating out the rhythm of our days. We know you live fully. It's why we pioneer new treatments. Because when it comes to matters of the heart, 
you deserve world-class health care. Providence, we see the life in you. My husband has diabetes. Even with health insurance, we're having a hard time affording our medications. Thankfully, we have Patty Murray fighting for us in the U.S. Senate. She kept at it till Congress finally lowered the cost of prescription drugs. And capped insulin for seniors at $35 a month. Now we'll save thousands every year. We know when Patty is back in the other Washington. She is working for us. I'm Patty Murray, and I approve this message. It's time for 4 News Now, Coats for Kids. Just drop off new or gently used coats at any of our sponsor locations. We'll bring them to Allsco for professional cleaning, then get them out to local children in need. Donate to Coats for Kids through October 31st. Global Credit Union is very active in our community, and Coats for Kids is one of the causes that we love. And it's not only coats, we also accept cash. So bring your donations to any Global Credit Union branch location, and we'll purchase brand new coats for our community. At Global Credit Union, we love being a part of Coats for Kids. Hello, I'm Lloyd Herman. If you need legal assistance due to an accident or an injury, put my 40 years of experience of dealing with the insurance companies to work for you. You'll have an appointment to speak to me within 48 hours. Lloyd Herman & Associates, 922-6600. What is a jewelry design center? It's a diamond superstore. A center for engagement rings, wedding bands, and anniversary rings. A showroom with unique creations, as well as award-winning designers. A fun, comfortable, no-pressure place where you are free to make big, small, or even no decisions at all. We are not your average jewelry store. We are Jewelry Design Center, and we want to be your jeweler for life. This is another one of those surprise medical bills you get in the mail. I've gotten them. You've gotten them. I'm Kathy McMorris-Rogers. With inflation crushing our families, we need to put a stop to these. I support requiring hospitals, insurers, and doctors to disclose their prices so you can know the real cost and can shop around for the best care. I approve this message because no one likes surprises, especially this kind. New tonight at 6 o'clock. For months, Mark Peterson and the Extreme Team, they've been working hard to design a new library for the Carl Maxey Center in East Spokane. The center's executive director, Sandy Williams, was heavily involved in this process with Mark, but was killed in a plane crash near Seattle last month. One part of the project that was important to her was to redesign the patio to give families a place to relax when they visit the center. Let's send her over to Mark now to see how they went above and beyond to make her dream come true. I think we've got agreement for those who have seen it, it did pretty well, but we're going to show you coming up in a little bit. We're going to give you a little idea of why we're here. First of all, Carl Max, he was, again, he, he did so much in this town to open the doors and cross bridges for everyone. Sandy Williams, who knew him and knew that she wanted to do this center, she called me two years ago and said, can you be a part of this? And I said, that's too big. It, it's beyond our scope. She called me six, eight months ago and said, how about one room? I said, okay. Now, follow me. Oh, wait a minute. Here's the reason. Hey, everybody, we're on live TV, by the way. This would have been Sandy's dream to see people sharing, having food and community in this room. Thank you for being here. This was her dream to see this center used for this purpose. Uh, Betsy joins now. President of the board, Carl Maxey Center. I want to tell you, I, I have these custom built for bikes for kids to come in through the library, maybe study, do homework, just on that level of those people. And then we get to the adults. What do you think? It's amazing. And thank you to everyone. I saw these bike racks. I thought, these are pretty darn cool. And I don't even ride a bike. So <laughs> I might go buy one just to hook my bike up here. But the collaboration, Mark, has been just overwhelming. And it has filled a hole in our heart and it has brought positive energy to East Central, not only to the Carl Maxi, but to the whole neighborhood. Yeah, fresh souls here. We're eating his food. I mean it's we have people talking about things, remembering things, yes. talking about when this building was yes. just yes. well not Community. much of a building. <laughs> her, her mother called it dilapidated. Okay. <laughs> well, I tell you what, we're going to meet her mother. We're going to meet her aunt. We're going to meet part of her family. Um, we're going to give you the look of what it looks like now compared to what it was before. And that's all coming up relatively soon. Do you think she would be proud of what we did today? Over the top. 
over okay. the top. Not only saying, but so is the board. Right. I mean, to see, high your, praise. to see your high praise. High Appreciate praise. It. Thank high you. Praise. All praise. right. We've got that coming up on 4 News Now at 630. Oh, Mark, we cannot wait. Another beautiful day on the way for tomorrow. I want to draw your attention to our average high. It's 59. We're going to be in the mid-70s again tomorrow with sunshine. And it looks like our beautiful weather is going to stick around through the weekend. I'll take a look after the break. Download the 4 News Now app today. 4 News Now is brought to you by Dishman Dodge. Tomorrow, get this. The one, the only, Ed Sheeran is here. Live. Ooh, I love it when you do it like It's Ed Sheeran in a GMA morning concert event. Tomorrow, only on Good Morning America. Sponsored by CarMax. It's an anniversary event like no other this Saturday at all three Cal locations at Airway Heights, Coeur d'Alene, and their new location on Division Street as Cal is celebrating their 20-year anniversary with barbecues and free T-shirts. And get this, each location will sell one vehicle for $20. That's right, 20 bucks. Just show up at the selected times and Cal will flip a coin heads or tails to see who gets to buy it. Plus, take advantage of other special offers. This Saturday, only at Cal. Vote with confidence this November. In Washington, our layered cybersecurity systems, trained officials, and election audits make sure every vote is counted accurately. After you've received your ballot packet in the mail, fill it out and send it back in your signed return envelope. You can also put it in an official Dropbox or submit it in person. Visit votewa.gov to register, find voting locations, and check your ballot status. Watch 4 News Now as the Extreme Team upgrades the Carl Maxi Center. What we're going to do is go in and get into the next phase of operation. That's going to be a new library. There's going to be a place in back. There's going to be a nice patio. Watch 4 News Now's Extreme Team, sponsored by Horizon Credit Union. If you're looking to score big on the best lineup of certified used or new SUVs and trucks just in time for the winter months, plus get up to 60 months low interest financing, then come on down to Finley for a touchdown of savings. At Providence, we've been investing in the health of the community and raising the standard of care for over 160 years. And we are honored to bring you top-rated Medicare Advantage coverage. Providence plans start at just zero dollars, include dental, hearing, and vision, and connect you to a network of thousands of local providers. Providence, join us as we make communities stronger by building true health together. 73 degrees, our high temperature today. Look how close we were to a record 76 at back in 1979. I think we'll set some records this October. We'll talk about that in the next half hour. Our average high is in the 50s. Look at our average low is in the 30s, the coolest we've been so far this season, 43 degrees. We are well behind schedule for a cold snap. 69 and sunny right now in Spokane. I say it's sunny. The sun just set about eight minutes ago. So, uh, not sunny, but it is clear. It is clear in Coeur d'Alene and 64 degrees. Winds are light and will remain light overnight with mostly clear skies. 45 for an overnight low in Spokane. 73 tomorrow, a day very much like today, almost exactly like today, thanks to a ridge of high pressure. We do have a little bit of variety coming for the weekend. We're going to see our winds pick up just a little bit on Saturday as a weak disturbance uh, passes by to our east. But otherwise, high pressure is in control, is going to dominate our weather pattern through the seven-day forecast. I made the mistake of talking yesterday about a major pattern change coming in the 8 to 14 day forecast and I still think there will be some changes but all of a sudden now we are seeing some uh, backing off on those predictions. Uh, this is Saturday October 22nd when we looked at this yesterday we were in the deeper purples and blues and all the cool colors uh, and now it looks like that ridge of high pressure is going to be tough to break down. 
down, but it may break down enough to at least bring some showers, uh, but perhaps uh, going and digging out the heavier winter coats may not be in order until we get closer to that uh, change in our weather pattern, which I'm sure will come eventually, just not in the near future. Overnight lows tonight will be down in the 30s and 40s. Still uh, requires a jacket out at the bus stop with those kind of temperatures, particularly in some of the northern valleys. Our uh, lows across the region, 45 in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, 50 in Lewiston, 50 in Grand Coulee. Our Friday highs will be in the 70s in most locations. Same point, upper 60s, 70s, right, well, all through the seven-day forecast. Breezy on Saturday, there's our um, big wild change in the weather pattern that we are going to be experiencing. Overnight lows staying in the 40s through the seven-day outlook. I'll be back in the next half hour with more on this string of 70s and the record uh, that we are going to very likely break, Aaron. Oh, looking forward to it. Thank you, Chris. A Washington race in the national spotlight. Tiffany Smiley and incumbent Patty Murray are battling out for a seat in the U.S. Senate. KXLY's Jordan Smith has been following this race. He joins us from the elections office with details. Well, the importance of this election could not be overstated, particularly with the U.S. Senate being a near even split. And voters in the Evergreen State have just under four weeks to decide whether Patty Murray or challenger Tiffany Smiley will go to D.C. for the U.S. Senate. The battle for a seat in the U.S. Senate features two candidates with vastly different backgrounds, Patty Murray and Tiffany Smiley. Democrat Murray is seeking re-election for a fifth consecutive time, having held office since 1992. Smiley is hoping to shake up Washington with a conservative agenda and be the first Republican senator to represent the Evergreen state since Slade Gordon won in 1994. Smiley has made a splash with conservative voters, slamming Senator Murray in the Democratic Party for inflation and increased crime across the country. For decades, Patty Murray has spearheaded reckless policies that lead to shortages, inflation, and so much crime that you can't even get a cup of coffee from the hometown shop on Capitol Hill, even if you could still afford it. Senator Murray has fought back, criticizing Smiley for her pro-life views, reaffirming her stance in support of a woman's right to choose. Smiley had previously questioned the integrity of the 2020 election, a stance that she has since backed off of, deleting that portion of her website. Meantime, in the fundraising game, Smiley appears to be gaining momentum, having raised $6 million in this last quarter, up substantially from the $2.6 million she collected during the second quarter. This success could make an argument to current Republican leadership that she's within striking distance. But according to a recent poll by Como News and Strategies 360, Smiley is currently trailing by 12 points with just over three weeks until the election. And these two candidates are set to square off in a debate here in Spokane, Washington. It'll be one final showdown for candidates to make their case in a predominantly red part of Washington. Reporting at the elections office tonight, I'm Jordan Smith, 4 News Now. Inflation continues to rise, and the federal government is stepping in to make sure the millions living off of Social Security have enough to get by. The historic rise in benefits coming up. Plus, one environmental organization is sending legal notice to some of the most popular sports bra makers why they could be impacting your health. Stream 4 News now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. No one goes all in on made-from-scratch freshness like Papa Murphy's. Because when you go all in, people notice. Go all in with the triple pet pizza for just $11.99. Papa Murphy's. Change the way you pizza. Democrats in Washington are threatening our way of life. Reckless spending fueling inflation. Shutting down energy production here at home. A push to defund the police. Kathy McMorris Rogers is fighting every day to stop them and protect Eastern Washington. Cutting spending to curb inflation. Unleashing American energy production and making sure law enforcement has the resources they need. Kathy McMorris Rogers, our voice. I'm Kathy McMorris Rogers, and I approve this message. 
Welcome to Coeur d'Alene Honda, home of the lifetime warranty. Well, hi. Hey, I'm looking for a new Honda, but I heard some dealers are charging outrageous prices. At Coeur d'Alene Honda, we simply don't do that. We ain't no big city slickers with second stickers. It's business as usual. We are a family-owned dealership, and our reputation is far more valuable than overcharging our customers. We want to be here for you today, tomorrow, and in the future. And don't forget about our lifetime warranty. Check out our website at cdahonda.com. It's time for change. It's time to heal the division in our state. As a representative of the people, I will fight for free enterprise and protect small business from the overreaching runaway government. I feel strongly that my skills and experience developed from my professional career are desperately needed in Olympia. It's time for less overreach and more freedom. I'm Suzanne Schmidt for 4th District Representative, Republican. At Washington Trust Bank, can't is a four-letter word. I think I'll sell my veggies at the market. Do you even remember to water the house plants? I do this? You can do this. Hey, we need to build a home office. We We're adding another bathroom. I think I'll study programming. Bro, you can't even connect your phone to Bluetooth. We believe you can do whatever you set your mind to, and we'll help you get there. Washington Trust Bank. Privately owned. Locally invested. No one goes all in on made-from-scratch freshness like Papa Murphy's. Because when you go all in, people notice. Go all in with the Triple Pet Pizza for just $11.99. Papa Murphy's. Change the way you pizza. 4 News Now is brought to you by Culligan Water. Breaking news tonight out of our nation's capital. Former President Donald Trump will be subpoenaed to testify in front of Congress for his role in the deadly January 6th insurrection. The House Select Committee also voted for Mr. Trump to turn over documents related to the investigation. Political experts do not expect Trump to cooperate. They say this will most likely trigger a court battle that could drag on for months. The Parkland shooter escaped the death penalty more than four years after committing one of the deadliest school shootings in U.S. history. Nicholas Cruz pleaded guilty last year to killing 17 people and injuring 17 others. After a months-long trial, the jury recommended the judge sentence Cruz to life without the possibility of parole for each of the murder and attempted murder charges in the case. It's what defense attorneys had argued for, saying Cruz suffered throughout his life from mental disorders and developmental delays. Some family members frustrated over the verdict. I sent my daughter to school and she was shot eight times. I am so beyond disappointed and frustrated with this outcome. I do not understand. I just don't understand this. You set a precedent for the next mass killing and nothing happens to you. You'll get life in jail. The judge will is issue her formal ruling on November 1st. Under Florida law, she cannot depart from the jury's recommendation of life. The cost of just about everything continues to ride, fueling concerns that the Fed will once again increase interest rates to try and curb inflation. The consumer price index rising 0.4% in September, higher than expected, with families feeling it most at the grocery store. Food prices jumping up 0.8%, while the energy index fell 2.1%. Gas prices fell slightly last month, but they are slowly creeping back. Now millions of Social Security recipients will get a historic 8.7% boost in benefits next year. Experts say it won't help much. We are just minutes away from the live reveal of the new library at the Carl Maxey Center in East Spokane. Hear how it will help the community and how the extreme team is honoring the center's late founder coming up. And winter is right around the corner. Find out what's being done to find shelter for the hundreds of people still living at Camp Hope. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. A lot of politicians like to talk big, but where's the action? Al French is a leader we can trust, and Al's results speak for themselves. Al has won funding for our roads to keep goods moving. As costs skyrocket, Al has pledged no county property tax increase. His opponent wants to give criminals a get-out-of-jail-free card, while Al dedicated more funding to the Sheriff's Department to keep families safe. I'm Al French. I'm asking for your vote so I can keep getting results for you. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning is your family-owned and operated number one HVAC contractor in the Northwest. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning would like to introduce our own carbon reduction program. 
Buy a new energy-efficient furnace from Bill's Heating and receive a matching air conditioner with installation absolutely free. No hidden fees, no conditions, no exceptions. Buy a furnace, get a free AC from Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Call today for estimates and repairs. How wild would it be to win $5,000 cash? Join us at Coeur d'Alene Casino as we rev up the winnings with the $100,000 Wild Wheeling Lucky You Hot Seats on select Tuesdays and Thursdays in October. Play with your core rewards card for a chance to be one of 20 players to win a $5,000 jackpot. Get here before they're gone. The $100,000 Wild Wheeling Lucky You Hot Seats, only at Coeur d'Alene Casino. For more information, visit cdacasino.com. Tiffany Smiley celebrated the overturning of Roe versus Wade. There's no way I can trust her to protect us. Tiffany Smiley would tip control of the Senate to Mitch McConnell. That is a disaster. She could give Mitch McConnell the power to rig the courts with more anti-choice judges. And pass a complete nationwide abortion ban. This is serious stuff. And Tiffany Smiley still supports Donald Trump. No way. No way. No way we can trust Tiffany Smiley. Women voters responsible for the content of this advertising. Next ET. Here we go. We're with The Rock, George, and Julia. I'm going to be thinking about it all day. Inside their box office showdown. Plus, our Lenny Kravitz exclusive. Ready for his magic mic close up? You know, so, our her boyfriend might be able to you know, give me a job. Then, only we're with reality boss Chris Jenner. Anything you change along the way might look bad. <laughs> I'd need another martini. <laughs> really quickly. <laughs> Next ET. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7 30. Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6.30. Mark Peterson and the Extreme team have been working hard for months designing a new library for the Carl Maxey Center in East Spokane. It was the founder's dream to give the community a place where they can learn about new technologies and art, but she tragically passed away last month. Tonight, her dream becomes a reality. Let's send it out to Mark for this big reveal. All right, good evening. Now, this is the time. Oh, it got so quiet in here. Um, I want to introduce you to a couple of people. There are lots of people who love Sandy, but this is Renika, her daughter. Rick, her brother. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Are you ready for this? Yeah, We're I'm excited. really excited. Yeah. You know your mom's a lot. Wanted a lot in this room. Yeah. I hope we did that. Okay, come on. Let's go in. This is, again, the library that was designed with your mom in mind when she wanted and what we needed to do wow. in order to do a lot of things that aren't going to happen just yet at the Carl Maxey Center. What do you this think? This is beautiful. <laughs> it's insanely beautiful. Yeah, this is amazing. You, you saw it before. I did empty. Not it before. You it, did not. I empty. It, it was yeah. just empty. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, here's it's the deal. I know you've talked to your mom. I know you've heard about the Carl Maxey Center over and over. And, over. and this is what I want to do. And this is my dream. And I want to do this. We don't have the art room yet. Right? So now we have art walls. We have art. We have art. Yeah. Um, we don't have the business center and the uh, small business development wing yet, but we have this area for technology and building. Which is All right, beautiful. come on in with me. All right, here is the art that continues, the tables for kids, for planning, for people. Um, there's, again, full on Wi Fi. So Comcast gave five laptops. I mean, so. We've got that that continues to go. Um, we've got some cool stuff. So people are going to be able to... This becomes a community center. This becomes a gathering place that she wanted. Right. And so they can talk place. about technology. They can talk right. about what they need to learn. They can watch a video. Right. But more importantly, they can come over here. Who do we have here? <laughs> oh, two of the most beautiful women in the world, I swear. <laughs> Sandy's mother, how are you doing, dear? I'm fine, thank you. So what do you think about the library? It's amazing. Very, very much so. It's quite a difference from when I saw it before with all the... <laughs> kind of different? Yeah. All with right. the boxes on the floor and everything. You're sitting in chairs where Sandy literally said, and I quote, I want something you can plop in and read. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, this is your sister? Yes. Yeah, and what's her name, dear? Jesse Rogers. Jesse? Yes. Do you not have a birthday tomorrow? Yes, How old are you going to be? Should I tell you? I wish you would. 91. Boom! <laughs> 91 came in from new york jesse bless you and happy birthday Thank you. all right now we're not done oh i know there's books so down below those are all for the kids because they're lower level 
up top again the the various different ones there there seems to be a book about carl maxi right there jim kirshner i want to talk to him about this and i just didn't call him okay before we go outside, I want you to take a look at what this looked like from the viewpoint you're about to see. And this is a picture I took two weeks ago. It looked this way seven days ago. Are we looking at that? Come on out. And I want to show you that same view now through the back door of the library. And this is what they have. They've got the concrete. They've got the kites for shade. They've got walls painted. Everything is ready to go for gathering, for community. Go on out there and we'll take a look and sort of explain what we're hoping. All right? So out here, we've painted and fixed all the walls. We put new lighting up so that at night people can be out here. There could be an anniversary party, exactly. a birthday party. Yeah. The whole Carl Maxey Center was developed at a barbecue. Yes. We have a barbecue, barbecue. donated. Yeah. Perfect. So all Perfect. of this yeah. was what Sandy and I talked about. Did you hear a lot about this center? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when she was just driving by and saw an abandoned building and was like, this is it. She just knew immediately. And I think if she was to be here to see this, she would just be... <laughs> she would be smiling yeah. ear to ear. Yeah. She'd, I mean, she'd have she... that sandy smile that, that would just say, this is amazing. And, and she see, this is her vision. This is her vision. And so, I hope she's smiling down on us now. She Certainly, she helped steer the weather yeah. to work for us. All right, here's the bottom line. We had a lot of help. Horizon Credit Union, our sponsor, but you know what? They put feet on the ground. They were here painting. Plus, they bought from Auntie's a $1,000 gift card to buy more books for the library and whatever they want to buy. Thank you very much. So it's through the volunteers, through every business that I didn't mention here, but we'll put on Facebook, we'll put on KXOI.com, that made all of this vision happen. But it's really Sandy's vision. We hope that it paid off. I'm going to send it back to you. It gets a little choked up, but uh, I love the extreme team. I'm Mark Peterson, 4 News Now. You did a good job, Mark. Oh. And you're not the only one getting a Thank little you. choked up out there. I think there's a few <laughs> wet eyes here in the studio oh as well. Goodness. Love the vision you have for that back patio. And it looks like everything's coming together. And there's so much room to move forward. Like that's he was talking right. about the art center and everything else that's coming there. So it's just really neat to see that progressing. That turned out amazing. And they will have beautiful weather to have a barbecue this weekend. Maybe just barbecue all weekend long. Here are four things to know about your weather. We have sunny, warm days and clear, cool nights in the forecast. A beautiful weekend. Still very, very dry. Temperatures for highs today were we're in the 70s across the region, 73 at Spokane International Airport and Liberty Lake, 72 in Coeur d'Alene. We're going to set some sort of record I'm going to tell you about uh, just a little bit later this half hour. Temperatures right now are in the 60s across much of the region. A little wider view. We do find 50s in Colville and Bonners Ferry as well as Sandpoint, but it's still 64 in Pullman and 73 in Moses Lake. Your Friday forecast, boy, get it. An early start on the weekend, but there's no rush because we have got plenty of sunny, warm weather to last. I'll be back to tell you about it in just a few minutes, Kirsten. Chris, thank you. Well, you're going to want to take a look at sports bras in your drawer. New testing reveals that materials from some brands contain 22 times the safe limit of BPA, which is a chemical compound that can be dangerous to your health. And it was found in brands Nike, Athleta, Pink, Asics, The North Face, Brooks, All in Motion, and Fila. The companies have been sent legal notices, but in the meantime, investigators say you need to make sure you change after your workout. Time is running out for people at Camp Hope. Winter is getting closer and there's a push to find campers housing. Our Bronte Sorotsky spoke with an outreach group and the city about what still needs to be done to safely help those living at the camp. The situation at Camp Hope is complex as city, state, and county leaders continue to disagree on a timeline as to when to move people out. One organization is calling on these leaders to put politics aside as winter approaches. Make sure that we center the homeless community specifically in this conversation so that we all remember as a community that these are people, they deserve dignity and respect, and uh, not to play politics with them. The Spokane County Human Rights Task Force is putting Spokane City and county officials on alert. 
being able to be housed and feel like you have dignity in a community is a human right. And so we felt it was the time as we began to see things move to make sure that we reminded our community of, of our obligations to people. The organization says they want to see individuals at Camp Hope eventually find housing, especially as we get closer to winter. The city says they do agree with county and state officials on many things and agree on the need to get people to shelter before winter. We're cons very much concerned about winter weather coming. Uh, we are in the bonus days right now of summer and, and early fall, and we know just based upon history that the harsh winter days are coming. And so we want to make sure that that all gets accomplished in a timely manner and so that people don't have to suffer through the winter. The only concern or disagreement they've had with other state and county agencies is a timeline to clear people from Camp Hope. There's so much more discussion to happen uh, and most of that conversation is around the details related to timeline and, and uh, any kind of deadline. The city says they speak regularly with state and county officials about this timeline. What still remains unclear is when and how everyone at the camp will be moved to different housing. Reporting in Spokane, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now. Election Day is just a few weeks away. Find out what the candidates for Washington's Secretary of State say they will do to keep the state's election safe and secure. And did you see this ball of light shooting across the sky last night? Our Matt Gray tells you what it was and where it came from. Plus... The Washington State Cougars will be without their starting running back for some time. Coming up in sports, Alex Crescenti introduces us to an emerging star on offense that could help carry the workload. Download the 4 News Now app today. ABC News, honored for excellence with 41 Emmy nominations, the most of any news organization anywhere. Thank you for making ABC News America's number one news. Democrats in Washington are threatening our way of life. Reckless spending fueling inflation, shutting down energy production here at home, a push to defund the police. Kathy McMorris Rogers is fighting every day to stop them and protect Eastern Washington, cutting spending to curb inflation, unleashing American energy production, and making sure law enforcement has the resources they need. Kathy McMorris Rogers, our voice. I'm Kathy McMorris Rogers, and I approve this message. Get your home ready for the holidays at Walker's as they offer a double your sales tax discount or no minimum purchase, no money down, no interest for up to five years financing. Making it the perfect time to furnish your life for less at Walker's. River Park Square. Joe Biden's open borders have threatened our neighborhoods and our children's safety. Fentanyl-related deaths have increased right here in Idaho. Gang members transport fentanyl and other dangerous drugs into our schools and communities. This has got to stop. I'm Mike Crapo. I approve this message. It's time we control the borders and shut down the pipeline of drugs and violence into Idaho. At Washington Trust Bank, can't is a four-letter word. I think I'll sell my veggies at the market. Do you even remember to water the house plants? I do this? You can do this. Hey, we need to build a home office. We We're adding another bathroom. I think I'll study programming. Bro, you even connect your phone to Bluetooth. We believe you can do whatever you set your mind to, and we'll help you get there. Washington Trust Bank, privately owned, locally invested. We'll start off this evening with a time lapse of our beautiful sunset looking uh, to the south southwest over the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena and the Scorpions concert, one of the best weather songs ever, Rocky Like a Hurricane, by the way, also my NBA walk-on music. 
for that career that I'm still waiting for. 73 are high today. 59 is our average high. 39 is our average low. We have not been anywhere near this in quite some time. In fact, we're closer to our record today of 73. Speaking of records, here's a look at our October highs uh, so far for Spokane International Airport. Thanks to meteorologist Matt Gray for this map or this graphic. Uh, as you can see, 70s and even the 80s on the third and fourth. The coolest it has been uh, this month so far. 73 are high today. Not exactly uh, chilly. The record for the number of 70 degree or higher days in the month of October is 17. That was set back in 1944. So we're up to 13 and here is the forecast that will easily break that record <laughs> here's 20 <laughs> right here in our temperature trend although by the end of this week it may get a little bit iffy but right now we are on track to have temperatures in the 10 to 15 degree above average range through the seven day forecast. This is our average, this white line way down here. And if we ever do get back down to average, which I assume we will, it is gonna come as a real shock to the system. High pressure remains in control through the weekend and beyond. A little bit of a dip uh, as we get into Saturday may pick up our winds out of the east, at gusts up to 20 miles per hour. Other than that, light winds, blue skies, lots of sunshine in the seven day forecast. Overnight lows, again, our average overnight low in the 30s. We're gonna stay in the 40s through the next seven days. Aaron? Thank you, Chris. Keep an eye on the right corner of your screen. There it is, look at that, that is super cool. Mm. That was the view many people across the Pacific Northwest had last night. And our Matt Gray spent the day figuring out what exactly people saw I know, there. and actually I have an idea what it was. It was a celestial show for Matt Gray's birthday. Oh, it's happy birthday. <laughs> All right, Matt, that was for your birthday, but what is it? Okay, yeah, happy birthday, <laughs> uh, happy birthday space objects, right? So our night skies, they're actually pretty crowded these days, so we kind of kind of think more about this, right? Between we've got space junk that falls to Earth, we've got rocket launches creating spooky clouds, we've got those Starlink satellites that people email us and go, what is going on? It is quite a time to be sky watching. So when a bright ball of light appeared over the Northwest last night, well, let me tell you, people had some questions, but at least this time, there's no real mystery about what that is. This is a classic example of a meteor exploding as it punches through Earth's atmosphere. Now, astronomers call this a bolide. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I tried. I really tried to Google it. Last night, the American Meteor Society got 143 reports from across the Northwest, and using those reports, they charted an approximate path of the space rock right over the Olympic Mountains. Now that is over 300 miles away from us. And as you can imagine, most of these reports, well, they were west of the Cascades, but not all of them. People saw it here in the Inland Northwest too. We had a report from Othello and up in Creston, BC, which is just a short drive across the border from Bonners Ferry in North Idaho. So if you have a security camera that faces to the west, you might want to check it out for a blue green flash at about 10 15 to 10 30 last night. And while you're checking that out, go ahead and head over to KXLY.com. In our article tonight on this meteor, I've got why some of these meteors show up as different colors and how big one of these things has to get to cause a little bit of trouble down on the ground. Matt, I know that people will email you if you didn't say it right. I know that from firsthand experience. <laughs> all right, thank you. Very exciting stuff. Well, as we approach the midterm election, we're doing all we can to get you the information you need to make informed decisions. Election security has been a source of contention in recent years, and tonight we're hearing from some candidates on their efforts to secure your ballot. For the first time in 60 years, a Republican won't take the seat of Washington's Secretary of State. Democrat Steve Hobbs was appointed to fill a vacancy last year and hasn't been elected to the seat. His opponent, Drew Lee Anderson, the Pierce County Auditor, is running as a nonpartisan candidate. Anderson tells us she has 12 years of experience and has walked through every aspect of the elections. 
So there are between 100 to 200 discrete steps in running an election. Everything from the way that you print ballots all the way to the way that you test your machines and certify the election. She recognizes cybersecurity is part of the election security and says it takes people, places, and procedures that come with experience. We need to take the temperature down and get people out of their corners and focused on unity and what we can do together. Anderson says false information is fueled by the political environment that we're in. My biggest concerns have to do with the hyperpolarization and partisan divides that we have in this country, in this state, in the community, and around dinner tables. Steve Hobbs, our current Secretary of State, says in the outgoing brief for the former Secretary of State, he was told of thousands of cyber attacks and 180 instances of misinformation in 2020. In my own personal experience, uh, being, you know, having uh, a background in national security, uh, I pulled back the budget that she had submitted and resubmitted a budget that doubled the size of our cybersecurity, provided uh, support uh, for our 39 counties, and then uh, created a, a team that would combat misinformation and at the same time do more voter outreach and education. Meanwhile, he says the tabulation machines cannot be hacked. Every signature is checked. Uh, people don't know that as well. Hobbs says you can go to your county auditor and see it for yourself. I think what we need to do is learn about our election system and be proactive in, in defending our election system because it's part of our democracy. The ballots are going to be mailed out on the 19th and the 20th, and we'll start receiving them by the 21st. They'll need to be postmarked and mailed back by November 8th or put into one of the 25 drop box locations across Spokane County. Reporting in studio, Emily Bloom for News Now. Emily, thank you. And if you need to register to vote, update your address, see what's on the ballot, or track your ballot, head over to votewa.gov. Here's a look at ABC's primetime lineup tonight. It's Station 19 at 8, followed by Grey's Anatomy at 9, and then it's Alaska Daily at 10. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Spokane's hottest music. Break me for so done with you, girl. Hot 96.9. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Life happens, and you can't always wait for two-day free shipping. Instead, head to your local Ace Hardware store, where we've got just what you need in stock right now. Our experts give you the knowledge and personal touch you can't find online. And when you need help fixing your broken screen, unclogging that drain, need an extra key made, or that hard-to-find nut or bolt, we're right around the corner with the helpful advice and products you need without the wait. It's time for change. It's time to heal the division in our state. As a representative of the people, I will fight for free enterprise and protect small business from the overreaching runaway government. I feel strongly that my skills and experience developed from my professional career are desperately needed in Olympia. It's time for less overreach and more freedom. I'm Suzanne Schmidt for 4th District Representative, Republican. At Just Between Friends, you'll find everything you need for your family. It's all here. I've been shopping in JBF since my kids were little, and we just love it. It's the one-stop shop for everything that you need for your kids and your grandkids. I'm a first-time mom. I got a lot of clothing, shoes. I got a changing table. It's been a lot of fun. Such a blessing to be able to shop, sell, and save at JBF. This has been a game-changer for our family. Just Between Friends at the Kootenai County Fairgrounds this weekend. Are you a U.S. citizen? Are you 18 or older? Have you lived in Washington State for at least 30 days? If so, you are likely eligible to vote in Washington. Voter pamphlets and ballots are available in multiple languages. Your vote is your voice, and your voice matters. Make a plan to vote. Learn more about eligibility at sos.wa.gov and get registered today at votewa.gov. Watch 4 News Now as the Extreme Team upgrades the car.
Carl Maxi Center. What we're going to do is go in and get into the next phase of operation. That's going to be a new library. There's going to be a place in back. There's going to be a nice patio. Watch 4 News Now's Extreme Team, sponsored by Horizon Credit Union. Watch for the people on 4 News Now. The Cougars are headed to Corvallis this weekend. They haven't lost to Oregon State in almost a decade. But to keep that streak going, they're going to need some of their younger players to step up. Alex Crescenti introduces us to one player on the offensive side that could be a future star. After a series of injuries helped doom the Cougs down in Los Angeles last weekend, they're going to be without some of the key pieces on offense for the time being. So that means next man up and a chance for some younger players to get playing time. But there also could be an emerging star on that side of the ball who's been waiting for this kind of opportunity. The loss of starting back Nakia Watson means the rushing game for the Cougs is about to be much younger and inexperienced for the time being. But there's still plenty of reasons to be hopeful. In the interim, the role is going to go to 5'8", 177-pound freshman Jalen Jenkins. Through six games this season, he's compiled 37 rushing attempts for 257 yards. That averages out to almost seven yards a carry. And last week may have been his breakout performance, going for 130 yards on the ground and 54 yards in receiving against USC, earning him the Pac-12 Freshman Player of the Week. Now Jalen has a chance to add to that as the workload is about to go up considerably from the beginning of the season. And it'll just be interesting to see how he holds up through the course of a whole game um, in between the tackles. Um, you know, he's a guy that, that's a little bit more of a scat back, so uh, getting the ball to him in different ways, you know, in space, uh, whether it's the throw game or, or, or the running game, um, something where, you know, he probably needs 20, 25 touches a game. While Jenkins isn't on the field, you can expect a lot more carries for former Mount Spokane standout Cannon Katzer, who's had his moments in this season so far. So while the injuries are concerning, it's not time to hit the panic button just yet. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. A lot of politicians like to talk big, but where's the action? Al French is a leader we can trust, and Al's results speak for themselves. Al has won funding for our roads to keep goods moving. As costs skyrocket, Al has pledged no county property tax increase. His opponent wants to give criminals a get-out-of-jail-free card, while Al dedicated more funding to the Sheriff's Department to keep families safe. I'm Al French. I'm asking for your vote so I can keep getting results for you. This is another one of those surprise medical bills you get in the mail. I've gotten them. You've gotten them. I'm Kathy McMorris Rogers. With inflation crushing our families, we need to put a stop to these. I support requiring hospitals, insurers, and doctors to disclose their prices so you can know the real cost and can shop around for the best care. I approve this message because no one likes surprises, especially this kind. Get your home ready for the holidays at Walker's as they offer a double your sales tax discount or no minimum purchase, no money down, no interest for up to five years financing. Making it the perfect time to furnish your life for less at Walker's. Another missing and murdered woman. We can choose to fight and to not back down. This can change the national conversation. Joe Biden's open borders have threatened our neighborhoods and our children's safety. Fentanyl-related deaths have increased right here in Idaho. Gang members transport fentanyl and other dangerous drugs into our schools and communities. This has got to stop. I'm Mike Crapo. I approve this message. It's time we control the borders and shut down the pipeline of drugs and violence into Idaho. If you're looking to remodel your home with some new stylish flooring or maybe some modern wallscape ideas, then you need to visit one of Windsor Plywood's two locations for the best selection of doors, floors, moldings, and more. Windsor Plywood. The notorious fake heiress. Next in some edition, her story shocked America. They even made a hit TV series about it. I am famous. Now she's out of jail and appearing on Inside Edition. Then, the most frugal mom you've ever met. I think families could probably save 50% or more. Tips to saving money at the supermarket. This is one of my best tips. Next, Inside Edition. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. 
Our beautiful weather will continue right on through a mid-September weekend. It is mid-October, but these temperatures are more typical to what we would see a full month ago. Mid-70s and sunshine. I like we'll it. We'll see the map, right? Or the, the calendar the map. Calendar. Of all the calendar. The 70s. Yes. All the way through so far. <laughs> you know, when the 70s disappear, we're going to feel like we just got smashed with a big cold hammer. I think, yeah, if the bottom eventually falls out of this, <laughs> the way like, we've been going. What happened to us? <laughs> I have a confession to make. Yeah. I actually turned the heat on today. I You're am not shocked. <laughs>